Let me put my hood on. Hey, that's what, a good. What, hey, hey, what what hood? You say you from Compton? What session? Uh, Hollywood Pop Row. Oh, okay, okay. So you got signed to Death Row with um Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Congratulations, homie. Straight up. I mean, I don't know you. Thank I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just not tuning in. It's all, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all love, homie. You feel me? No, you know, I, he, he gave me the deal. I dropped the project, picking the letter three. And, you know, I got my own imprint now called Killer Ink. But, you know, me, I, nigga, I push death row, too. You know what I'm saying? You know, nigga, even though, this, like, right. even though I dropped my project, it's still open, nigga. Me and Snoop got a relationship. I'm a rep back. You know, death row, you feel me? Right. But, you know, and that's my whole push right there. So 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 you jumped on there. You say you had a squabble with a nigga today or something. What what? I mean, what went down? I, I'm nah, late, man, homie. It, it, it was it wasn't no squabble. Basically, nigga, I bumped into a nigga that been calling me snitches and rats. Oh, you no. Know? And the nigga then the nigga then the nigga wasn't ready to die. That's really all I can really break this shit down to say. Nigga, I got you. Ready to die. Never asked for no fade. He left. He left. Ask for faith, and the homie said, come back, he didn't come back. But when I seen him and his homie, his homie tried to turn up on me. I told his homie, nigga, I stabbed your bitch ass in the neck, nigga. Mind your own, nigga. You feel me? So, you know, it went like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, right. see, I don't play with this nigga rat word. You're not about to get half of them people call me a snitch or a rat. I know I ain't one. So, you know, these niggas, these niggas from this internet era, they think everything is loud you. Know, everything is about Yo, I'm, and I'm a real gangster, and, and these niggas can say what they want to say about me on the internet. But each one of these niggas that see me is not ready to die. So I'm, I don't, I don't even give a fuck. They just won't. They, I'm ready to die. In. They not ready. Well, well, hey, well, check, check this, check, check this, check, check this out, homie. I got some, I got some real shit to ask you. I don't know you, but you from out there in the section, and, and, and you know, shit be, shit be jumping off, right? And you know, yeah. internet internet beef can go left, right? How right. how close was you or how you felt about that situation when 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 um homie died out there at that um at, at the snow at, at the show with Snoop them the rock the bell shit. You was out there? Um I um I feel I feel like man like like man we in these streets, my nigga. Now I got love for Drake or the ruler, homie, but I feel like we in these streets, yeah. my nigga, ain't hey, nothing fair. His downfall was trying to give these niggas a fair fade, nigga. He was supposed to be right. poking them niggas. So, you know, right. I just feel like he, he should have been a little bit more dangerous. My nigga saying is stay dangerous. And I'm going to stay dangerous, my nigga. Feel me? Right. So, you know, I just feel like, you know, he shouldn't have gave them niggas a fair nothing. That nigga was supposed to be a mason and stabbing shit. And then he right. would have got about it with his life because he, he tried to give them niggas a fair fade and the nigga stabbed him. So, nigga... That just told me, nigga, don't go in no situation playing. Feel me? Right. So I yeah. don't go in no situation playing. And I showed that when, when I went to No Jumper a couple of days.